Hey guys, this is Drew from the MakerBot Learning Team, and I'm going to take you through the 3D design portion of this Speedy Architect lesson. So if you or your students want to design a custom 3D printed connector to allow you to build some more complex structures, here's one way in which you could do that. So I'm in Tinkercad right now, and I'm going to start by importing one of the pre-made STL files that's included with the lesson. In this case, I'm going to pick the tconnector.stl file and import that onto my work plane. From here, to add any new connection points, I just have to add some cylinders wherever I see fit. I took some measurements beforehand, and I know that each of these connection points has a diameter of 5 millimeters in order to fit on the straw properly. So I'm going to drag out a new cylinder here, and also drag out a ruler tool, which will allow me to edit the dimension of this cylinder to the proper size. In this case, 5 millimeters by 5 millimeters. And now that it's the right size, all I have to do is get it into the right position. So I'm going to click on my new cylinder. In this case, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees onto its side. Use the hotkey D to drop it down to the work plane. And move it close to where I want it to be. And then get it into its final position using the Align tool. So I'm going to select both of these objects. Go to Adjust Align. And in this case, I really want this new cylinder lined up along this line right here. So I'm going to click on the bullet point right here. And now I know they're aligned with each other. And now I have a four-way connection point. And from here, if I want to add any new connection points, all I have to do is duplicate this orange cylinder right here and place it wherever I see fit. So let's go here and edit duplicate. And maybe we'll make one standing up from the center. So I'll rotate this 90 degrees. Again, use D, and since I know it's already in the center, I'm just going to use the arrows on my keyboard and move it over toward the center of the object. And from here, maybe I want to add some 45 degree angle connectors coming off the side. So let's go ahead and duplicate this vertical piece, rotate it to 45 degrees, and again, just scoot it over using the arrows on my keyboard. And do the same thing for a connector sticking out the left side. Edit Duplicate. Rotate the other way to 45, and use the arrows on my keyboard just to move it on over. So now I have my four new connection points. The last step would be just to group all these together to turn them into one single solid using the group tool. And then to get this over to my printer, I'm going to go ahead and go design, download for 3D printing, choose the .stl file extension, and from here, I can pull this file into MakerBot Desktop or the slicer of your choice and get it over to my printer.